mostly there. Vapes, everything's here? Okay, cool. We did all the checks, all the stuff, all the stuff. Damn yes. it, Bobby, this Check. just ain't right. Okay. Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the FedCast. We're the three amigos. We're all back together. Hell yeah. Uh, we need to get those sombreros and the outfits. We should do that for Halloween. But I'm still Steve Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said it first, man. I know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's been... Dude, it's been like a month, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Since before the tattoo party... And the tattoos yeah. are all healed up. Yeah. And then Vincent said there's another tattoo party. So. Like two, three weeks? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's in uh, Alvarado this time. Yeah. So. But Chase has never, Chase has never been out there. I mean, not to where we're going. <laughs> he's, 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 I've he's, been he's, out there. He's never been to Alvarado before. <laughs> not once. Not ever. No, but yeah. So uh, we're here. We're back. And um, so we've been putting off one conversation with the last two episodes because we shifted chase uh happy, happy late birthday did we say i don't even know if we said happy birthday on the podcast i don't remember Sorry, dude. but you went to oklahoma that yep. sunday and me and vincent recorded you win a little money yes sir well that's that's as long as you came back in the positive and not the negative <coughs> that's the win yep yep vincent i feel like you're hiding behind the thing what thing i feel like that you're hiding no because the light <laughs> i don't know if it's the light <laughs> I adjusted it so it wasn't in my face. Yeah, we're messing we're messing with the light a little bit, and then uh, I just figured out how to adjust that arm on Vincent's mic earlier. So uh, technical difficulties, but it's all right. But anyway, back to the conversation that we haven't had. What's the name of the show? I forgot. Fallout. I like how y'all said that in unison. I didn't forget. I just wanted to see if y'all would say it in unison. Well, so, we what did y'all think of the show? It was good. I yeah. liked it. Yeah, I liked it. Did it have anything to do with the video game? Mm, not really a little bit not much yeah yeah there, there were some mentions here and there things that so basically the they, they just stole the the video game universe and wrote a story into it yeah okay so none of those characters were in the no, no? we didn't have a noseless ghoul cowboy no oh I mean, there's ghouls and shit, obviously. But yeah, I never. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I didn't. Uh, I didn't play the game. I haven't played the games in a long time. I started to fall off four again as soon as I watched the show. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. I don't even have a video game system. I'll give you one. I got a couple. He's like, I'll give you one. We got. We got some. And we are. I did. I did cut the the promo. Um, if y'all want to try this W uh, Jitterdose Energy product, it is. Uh, use the code Federation for ten percent off. And it's fucking delicious. Uh, Dragonade. I'm guessing a dragon fruit lemonade is the concept, but it's good. Sounds shit. good. So, after you watched the show, I I watched it just as a show because I knew nothing about the video game. Um, do you think they did a, a, a do you think they did a good job like integrating a storyline into the concept of that world, or was there anything that y'all would have changed or y'all would have wanted to see? <clears throat> I think they did a pretty good job. Um, like I said, I haven't played the games in a while, so. I mean, with the the amount of time they had, they sh- they did all right. I mean, everything was kind of compact. It was hard to tell like where the story fell in between the games and all that. But other than that, it was a, it was a good story for the world. I would have liked to. S- on it. I would have liked to seen more cockroaches. <laughs> yeah. On the big ones. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was cool when the dog attacked that one because it was yeah. so big. So were the dogs in the game? Well, yeah, yeah, it was cool to see the origin of the dog meat. Yeah, because yeah. I was just kind of curious, like, how much of this did they just kind of make up? I mean, it wasn't the actual, I think, your character dog that you fuck with. But, I mean, seeing that there was, like, a farm of them fucking dogs that were trained to be that type of dog was pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought the show was good. I liked the I liked the whole concept and how it kind of, everything kind of just went together and tied in. Yeah. Because I really thought, like, oh, these people haven't been underground forever. But they really had. Yeah, yeah. They really did start societies underground. I would do. I do think they left enough open that you could make multiple seasons. Oh yeah. But you wouldn't. The next season wouldn't even have to cover this storyline. No. Nah. You could start off in a different vault. Right. Well, I think supposedly it's supposed to New Vegas is probably going to be part of. Yeah, the next one. The yeah. next season. Yeah. So I think that's. I think that's. And then you know, like when you watch The Walking Dead, 
Yeah. That's that's the vibe that I got from the director because you had so many storylines running. Yeah. And you're like, oh shit, I forgot about that dude. I forgot he was still like part of the show. And I feel like you would go through and then, but I would leave me thinking like, what about the dude though? Where yeah. did he go? Well, and one thing they did that everybody kind of assumed or was like a theory was like Vault Tech. The people that made the, mm-hmm. they are the ones that dropped the bombs. You know, the, like they did it for the experiment of it. That was pretty cool. And then, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, okay. So we're gonna start this new thing that we talked about. Okay. Where um, this is probably gonna be an easy one, but we're we're going to progressively get difficult. Yeah, we're gonna progressively <laughs> get difficult. So we're gonna play this game because Chase is a movie buff, and we're we're gonna try to figure out actors. And I actually think I know the actor's name, so Vincent won't have to fact check this one. All right. But you remember when? Uh, so th- what are those fucking big suits called? The power armor. <coughs> yeah, but. But remember, where the fuck? God damn it. We should have we talked about this before when the fucking show was like we were. The T60? The T60? Yeah. Armor? So remember they had their little group of guys? Yeah. And the, then the Brotherhood King of Titus State. was the leader, right? Oh, yeah. I know who you're talking about. So not him. I'm oh, talking okay. about him. Because God Everybody damn it. knows him. I don't even fucking remember who that dude was. Michael Rep for it? Yeah, that's <laughs> fuck, man. See, that, see so, this, so Chase is 1 and 0 oh now. So we're going to play this game constantly when we're on the <clears throat> podcast of uh we'll see if he knows who this is off the top of his head but yeah because he was a uh, remember he was the next friday he uh-huh. was the mailman yeah dude i always remember that movie he uh and he asked ice cube he was like are you you, you play ball he, like how do you afford this house he goes yeah i play for the cookamon crack killers yeah. and i was like god damn <laughs> you want to join <laughs> yeah that was a uh, and then chico started taking off after him yeah. the mexican's dog yeah I'm not being racist. The they were the Mexicans that lived next door. The, yeah, the, the they were Bulletary. hilarious too. Man. Yeah, the three brothers. Dude, who is the dude in the beanie? Is that the dude that I think it is? Yeah. Who? I don't know. The guy that plays Selena's brother. Yeah. I don't Selena's know his name brother? though. The fake A.B. Quintanilla from yeah. the movie. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? Chase. You, oh, we, uh, oh, he's we, Chase is now one and one. And one. one. <laughs> Now I'm going to think about Vincent, it. Vincent, get your phone out. Figure out what the fuck this guy's name is. Hold on. Oh, your phone's already out. Damn it. Hurry up, Chase. Beat Google. <laughs> Beat Google. Beat Google. Are you, Sorry, are you smarter than Google? <laughs> Google fooling it. It's not. Uh, fuck, what is his name? Because I'm. I have, I, I have he's going to say it. I have an actor in my head. You're not gonna get it. What's uh-huh. his name? Because I don't even—I didn't even know that was his name. It's Jacob Vargas. Uh, yeah. Jacob Vargas. I wouldn't have got that. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> but does he look like Michael Pena? That's who that's, Michael Pena kept coming that's, into my head. That's, that's why I can't think of who that was because in my head, I feel like they could make Friday Between Fridays, and Michael, Michael Pena P- could put the he dude he he could talk like that. Oh yeah. And and I think I think that would be a cool concept. Yeah. Michael Pena make a. Talk to Ice Cube. Make a spinoff. Friday and a half. Friday and a half. Ha- <laughs> call, almost Saturday. Call that bitch Wednesday. <laughs> <clears throat> then in Friday, the next Friday is <coughs> 24 <coughs> years old, dude. God, next 2000? Friday is 24 years old. Yeah, it came out 2000. What? I was still watching it like religiously dude, we were in 07. In 07, I was still watching it on VHS on a 13-inch screen <laughs> in my room. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Rewinding that bitch because we there wasn't a DVD. It, Started from the beginning. <laughs> Damn, Uncle was it Uncle Elroy? Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's crazy, bro. And Day Day, Baby D, Baby she D had all the snacks, bro. All the <laughs> snacks, the ones that explode in your mouth, fucking glitter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. So, are y'all excited for this uh, this diaper party? Vince, are you excited, yeah. man? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get enough Pampers to make you a throne, like. Like Game of Thrones. Like Game of Thrones, but with Pampers. And it's not going to look as cool. <laughs> but you, we have to take a picture and we'll, we'll get you a little crown. You have to sit it. Sideway. Is that my phone? I know we're recording. I know I have to record. It was yours? Okay, yeah. shit. I was like, damn. I thought I'd put it on the airplane mode. But yeah, man. So yeah, that's what, three weeks? One, Yeah. Three weeks? Two weeks? No, two weeks. Two weeks. Today, it's two weeks. Damn. Yeah. I got. I got to go make a beer run. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stock your fridge. The weekend before, you just can't get into it. Let's yeah. get a thirty pack of butt eyes. <laughs> 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 that, 
No, no. Damn it, Bobby, no, this just ain't right. <laughs> That's just for you. <laughs> Bro, I don't... They'll I think, drink it. Free beer, they'll drink it. Man, I'm going to go get some of that Frio. Remember that Frio beer? You, you remember that? It was it was like $20 for a 30-pack at the liquor store. Yeah. I used to buy it. <clears throat> buy the, I'd probably buy two of those. Damn. And... uh. That would last through the week. $20 for... Nah. 40 beers, or 60 beers for 40 bucks. I mean, that ain't 50 cents a beer, something like that. Yeah, this homeless lady, like, came up to me on a bicycle. She was like, hey, I was leaving, <laughs> I was loading down the ice chest, and then she's like, hey, um, you have any money I could have? And I was like, no. I go, uh, you want a beer? <laughs> I'll take a beer. And I was like, you want, like, four? <laughs> Giving homeless people beers, like... It's just like giving them money because it's the sure, That's what they're going for, right? <clears throat> yeah, granted, I know there are some homeless people, but majority of homeless people that need money, they just go get, like, they go get help. They something. live somewhere. They don't they stand on the corner and ask for beer money. Yeah. Like that one dude that had that sign one time, he just was like, I just need a beer. Why lie? It's like, yeah, like, that's it, man. I respect the honesty. The honesty, yeah. Am I going to give you a dollar every time I see you? No. <clears throat> Hey, remember that beer that we tried? This one time you were drinking, like, two years ago? It was, uh, so I don't know what it was called, but some beer that I think your brother gave to you. It was, like, chocolate taste. Oh, it was a... Uh, like a stout? It was a beer yeah, from... Yeah, that shit was nasty. From, <laughs> <laughs> it was a beer from Stone Brewery. It was a... Still finished it, but... It was, <laughs> all right. it was a vanilla chocolate stout. Yeah. And then, dude, you remember that one beer? Remember when I was real sick that one day? We still recorded, and I still drank. Mm-hmm. And it was that beer from a uh, Cowtown Brewery, and it was a it was a Santa Claus stout or some shit was and it peppermint or some shit. I don't know what it was, but I I already didn't feel good, <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck it, we have to record." Yep. <laughs> like we we set the day, like the show must go on. <laughs> Fuck. It that. was a terrible podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I think your brother was like, bro, like, just fucking, just stop. Like, don't, you don't have to do this today. I was like, I have to. But dude, with scheduling, dude, sometimes we just, I don't know. It's like, we are, we're already both here. Let's just, let's just get it over with. But if, if we didn't record, I probably would have just slept. I would have just slept or just laid around and watched TV. Dang. I got that new disposable vape and it's sitting right over there. I'll finish these ones before I go get up. So, Chase, you've been on disposable vapes for a while now. Yeah. And uh, I do enjoy it. It's, it's very it's very uh, simple yeah, it's and easy. Bad. Yeah. And I feel like I used to sit there like, dang, he's got three. You had like two or three of them in your pocket. <laughs> and um, I've only one been, goes out, you got to have I've, another one. I've only been using disposable vapes for like a week and a half now. And there's one here, one here, one on that bookshelf, <laughs> two in the room. And... On the podcast that I recorded with Johnny last night, I had three lined up, and it just—it's just so easy. Like yeah. when they're just there, oh, I want to try a different flavor. Mm-hmm. And now that I have the hack, so I can refill them, <clears throat> it's gonna be good shit. Yeah, it's just easier. Yeah, I remember vaping. Um, that'd be the worst is when you're the, when it goes out and you yeah. have an extra one, yeah. and you're like, does that laugh little that last little puff? And like, oh, it's nasty as hell too. <laughs> taste burnt <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, good shit but yeah man uh what was i gonna talk about oh so the last two episodes we were like oh well hopefully we'll see what happens with the mavs well they made it out of the first round they do into the semifinals of the western conference one and one the day that we're recording this is may 11th right today's the 11th yeah so we got a I don't know. The next time we're all sitting down together, they may, hopefully they're in the Western Conference Finals. Yeah, all right. What did you think about uh, Kawhi not playing? Well, do I don't you, know. Y'all think he's done, dude? This is, this is crazy. What do y'all I think this know. does for his legacy? He could have played that last game, they said. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts the legacy because he's got two rings, right? Yeah, yeah one, one in San Antonio, Antonio and, Toronto. and one with Toronto. I think, I think the one in San Antonio, great, amazing, good for the legacy. The the ugly divorce in San Antonio. Yeah, well, the one in Toronto showed he could do it without, you know, the super team. But also Durant got hurt, didn't he? For the Golden State. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, that's <clears throat> that that's true. true. I forgot about that asterisk. But, honestly, Durant should have never been in Golden State. Yeah. He should have never gone over there. They won a couple. 
Yeah, but they already had the team built. He was just yeah. extra piece. <clears throat> and yeah, I, I feel like for Kawhi's legacy, I think the Toronto did him good winning the ring there, even if it was an asterisk because there was no Durant. But at the same time, he still had to beat Steph, yeah, Clay, and Draymond. And Draymond. And any, any on any team in the league, those guys are a one or a two if they if they switch teams. Yeah. Well, not Clay anymore, but yeah. <laughs> what happened to Clay, bro? I don't know. Where did he go? <laughs> did I don't? But I mean, his his legacy is solidified. He's yeah. got the rings, everything he's done in Golden State. Do you, how do you feel about him coming to Dallas? If he wants to be a spot up shooter, that's fine. As they're talking about it, they <clears> talked <throat> they talked about it yesterday that Dallas is a potential landing spot for Clay Thompson. And I'm like, and kicks still shoot, so it just a, can he though? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. He's got to find his rhythm. He only yeah. plays like half the season, it seems like now. Well, that, but for how much, though? Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> What's it going to cost? They're going to pay him like $90 million for whatever, Hell three, four years. Like they did with Chandler Parsons? Fuck that. Parsons just stayed in uh, Houston. Houston, dude. He was doing yeah. good in Houston, and after that, he just was, wasn't no more. Yeah. Well, I think the Clippers, are that team's done. They're going to separate. I guess that team's going to break apart. It would make I, – I just don't see them – I mean, you made this run. Yeah couple of years yeah and it's just not panning out yeah but i don't think i don't think Kawhi's done i just don't i think he, i think he's done in the sense of making pushes for he's on the de- he's on the decline yeah and he's he can't stay healthy yeah he's on know? the back end so i mean he of course you're gonna pick up Kawhi if you can get him at a good price yeah because he's gonna go out well, there. somebody's gonna overpay for him yeah they but he'll, he'll perform 50 percent, 40 percent of the season yeah I think this season was the most games he played in like I don't know how many years. The regular season, yeah, yeah. The regular season. But when it came time for the playoffs, it just didn't happen. So who do you, who, who who are y'all who are y'all picking to win the NBA championship? Um, being me and Chase being non biased. So if I don't say the Mavs, if, if, okay, that, let's put it that way. <laughs> you and me, I'm I'm pulling for the Mavs, of course. Right. But if I or had just to, go somewhere, for, who are you going for the East? <coughs> I'm going for just Boston. I'm going for New York. I can't go for New York because I don't like how that separation happened with uh, Derek Brunson. Yeah, I still like Jalen though. Yeah, j- yeah. I said, what did I say, Derek? <laughs> Derek. Is there a Derek Brunson? That- oh, sorry, no. sorry, I misquoted your name, bro. Nah. Derek, Derek Brunson, what's up? Whoever you are, wherever you're at out there. <laughs> and the Pacers <laughs> wouldn't be bad either. I mean, Pacers are a good solid team. I uh, I would like to see Boston because I do like uh, Tatum. Yeah, I like Brown. I would I would like to see that happen. I would like to, I would like the Mavs to beat them in the finals. Shit, I just don't want to play Minnesota. You want to play Minnesota? You think that, you think Minnesota's going to take out Denver? I mean, Denver won last night, but they're two one. They're two one down. Yeah, Minnesota won the first two. Mm, I don't want to play Minnesota. Man. That's, that's going to be a tough game. That's a, you don't want to play against series. Michael Jordan's son. Well, I don't want to play against fucking Gobert and fucking Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah. Those are like true power yeah, forward they're big centers. Dudes. Yeah, they are. They're going to bully us. I mean, Jokic always going to be Jokic, so. Yeah. But against those two big dudes down low, we ain't going to get no rebounds. The only reason I'm going for Boston because Derek White is an expert. Mm-hmm. So. Fair enough. Vincent, I do not like your loyalties to the Spurs. You even <laughs> like those guys when they leave. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, I hated Michael Finley when he went to the Spurs. Bro. I hated him. He won a championship, though. He did, yeah. You, you got to get the ring. I mean, Son of a bitch. <laughs> Dirk stuck around and got his here. Nash never got one. As a Nash player. never got did one. Did he get one as a coach? No. No. He, he only coached, coached two in seasons? Brooklyn. Who, he, he coached the Lakers? Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Yeah. Oh, I was way off. He coached. <laughs> he coached. He I think he's coast Lakers. West Coast, like the furthest distance away you I, I could be. I think he played. Uh, he when, played for the Lakers yeah. briefly yeah. towards the end of his career. I yeah. think he coached Brooklyn when Harden and all them were there. Yeah. Durant, was Harden, there. Irving, and yeah, when Durant. they didn't play <laughs> for a whole season. Kind of sounds like that equation doesn't work with uh, those three guys from OKC. 
They you, would have if they would have fucking played together there as a in team, Oklahoma. man. Yeah. Worry about yeah. stats and shit like yeah. that, bro, man. Westbrook is they would have they would have been a bro. dynasty. They could have been, yeah, but they still don't got a championship up there, do they? No. Dang. <laughs> it took the Mavs a long time to get one though. Yeah, OKC's fucking, only been around what fifteen. Well, years? they were the they were the SuperSonics. Yeah, but that's a different market. Man, yeah, true. If they knew they were gonna get Durant, they would have stayed up there. Well, they had Durant when they moved. They yeah. had they had already drafted him. Or did yeah, he they play? drafted him when they were with yeah. Seattle. But did he play? A they game? They drafted Westbrook too. When but, did he get drafted? Two thousand seven. I think it was. Yeah. But did they play a game? Yeah. In, in SuperSonics yeah. uniforms. Yeah. Dang. Both. Of them. I think it was just one season. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even know that history lesson over here. <laughs> now they're trying. They're trying to bring back SuperSonics. Oh, 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 do oh, another brand ex- new franchise. Expansion, yeah. Is there anything up there in C- besides the Seahawks? They got baseball team, right? The Mariners, yeah. Hmm. I always get the Mariners and the Marlins confused. Uh-huh. Mm, the, M's. The M's. <laughs> and then the Milwaukee Brewers, their logo is an M. Yeah. Mm. Bro, whatever happened to that beer uh, That beer jersey you got? You ready to bust it out for the summer? Yeah. I still got I got three of them. You bought three <laughs> of them? <laughs> Did you get them on Tima? No. Amazon. I think they got them on Tima. I still want that. It's album. from that movie. Uh, what's it called? The uh, basketball. Yeah, basketball. There you go. Yeah, yeah the Milwaukee Beers or whatever. I still want. It's the, a uh, Cooper and uh, Reamer. Cooper Rush. No, just kidding. Cooper and Reamer. Yeah, yeah. I love that fucking movie. I don't think I've seen that movie enough to quote it or remember it. It's like, hilarious, bro. Oh. So now we're gonna roll into <laughs> cult classics. What do you got for us today, Chase? All right. Uh, it's called Chud. What? Can't, Chud. Chug? Chud. Ch- C-H-U-D? Correct. Can- cannibalized. <laughs> cannibalized humanoid underground dwellers. So they are gross. Yeah, they're very gross. Oh. So I, I think it's New York. And they live in like the sewers and shit. And they kidnap and murder people. I'm going to start calling people Chuds. <laughs> There's actually a definition for that. So I don't know if you should. That. There's a definition for Chud? Yeah. Is I it, don't know what it is, but I saw it. Is it Look fucked up? up. Let's, it let's it see. is fucked up. <laughs> it is fucked up? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This is even better. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, you Chud. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to say it anymore until you, I might have to cut this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a crazy movie, man. Uh, one of the Wet Bandits from Home Alone. The Wet Bandits. Daniel Stern, the, bit, the skinny dude. He's in it. John Goodman plays a cop. He's super young. <clears throat> Did you find it, Vincent? Yeah. Is it fucked up? I'm just going to read it. It says the term chud is a... Hold on. Yeah, read it. Proofread it first, bro. <laughs> so I think it's pretty fucked up. Why does it always end up that Vincent has to read out loud on the podcast? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I never told you to read the, the DVD but cover it, that one time. Pretty much is describe someone who is physically unappealing or gross. Oh, oh, okay. So it's like talking shit. Like, fucking Chud. Yeah, that's fucking not bad. Chud. <laughs> not as bad as I thought. Like, oh, ugly <coughs> ass Chud. <laughs> so, I mean, okay, it's a degrading term. Like, it's yeah. not something you would it's call It's not as friend. bad as I thought it was, though. Bro, you woke up looking like a Chud. <laughs> Get that crust out your eyes. <laughs> Brush your teeth. <laughs> Brush your teeth. <laughs> And then you look, you, I'm gonna you say that to Ava. I'm like, Don't be a chud. She's gonna be like, what? what? <laughs> Google it. Use your Google foo. Yes, people just go missing and motherfucking. Are the chuds eating them? Yeah, cannibal. Oh no, that's right. That was that was what the C stood for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a solid flick though. I gotta get the tears, 80s, tears 80, out of my eyes. 84 maybe. 84. Yeah. Before we were born, sweet. Yeah. So you know it's good. So you know it's good. I think it's like a budget of like four million. Really? Yeah. Man. But in Damn. today's yeah. but in today's time frame. Or maybe would... it made four million, I don't remember. Oh shit. <laughs> it cost it's, them, it's one of the two. <laughs> it cost them like sixteen grand to make this movie. Shit. John Goodman's like, yeah, give me six hundred bucks, I'll do it. I don't think I think that might be one of the first things he ever did. Yeah. He's young. Man. John Goodman uh I still watch some of those Connor episodes because my mom likes that show. Yeah. He lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I saw that. He got, I, I don't. I wonder if he did it healthy or if he got an Ozempic. I don't know what that is. What Ozempic is? It's what all the Hollywood stars are using to lose weight nowadays. No. <laughs> all right. 
What are you reading, Vincent? No, I'm trying to look up this movie to see if y'all remember it. You got a cult classic, Vincent? I don't oh, think it's shit. that, but... Uh, <laughs> Fuck, what's it called? I'm trying to remember now. Who's in it? I don't know. <laughs> Chase is like, well, let's, put my let's test. do this. Let's, let's do this test again. Okay, what's it about? Okay, yeah, it's okay. about a guy that works night shift. I think he works in the sewers. Or is it the sewers? I don't know. About a big giant rat. Did you type it's, that into Google? It's probably just rats. <laughs> no, it might be rats, but it's a, I thought it was called something else. Um, graveyard Shift or some shit like that. Oh, I can't remember. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pre-story to fucking <laughs> to Master Splinter. Splinter. <laughs> it's the Asian guy that teaches him Kung Fu. Right. So, okay. Misconception in my head sometimes. Yeah. What do, what do the Ninja Turtles practice? Kung Fu or Karate. It's gotta be kung fu, right? Yeah, yeah kung fu. Okay. Yeah, they ain't wearing belts. Well, they do wear belts. <laughs> it just didn't because in my head I was just like, what? What do they practice? Well, you saw that animated one, right? Splinter learned that shit from old kung fu movies. He learned that shit from Jackie Chan. I mean, he was Jackie Chan in that yeah. animated one. That was a good casting. That was a good casting. That was good. I liked it. I liked that movie. It was funny as hell, too. They're supposed to be doing that realistic Ronin type shit on Netflix, too. Yeah, ready for that. Netflix is really trying to take over the game right now. They're, tr- they're putting out some good stuff. Well, this new live concept. Yeah. We're going to see this shit put to the test with uh, Tyson and Paul. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So I'm ready for that. They're doing, and they're going to, they are in talks for the big. NFL games, mm-hmm. so they want the Christmas Day doubleheader okay. coming this year. They're trying to get that because they're, the NFL hasn't released the schedule for all that because they don't have the terms and the deals with the broadcasting yet. Yeah. So Netflix is making that push to get the Christmas Day games, which do that. I mean, you're stealing from the market. Yeah, you're and stealing then, from regular shit. And Network I haven't watched broadcast. anything live. The Tom Brady roast was live. Did you did you watch it, Vincent? Mm-mm. I don't watch it. I've seen some clips and shit. I've seen the clips, and I know uh, you know he got paid twenty five million. Yeah. Did, did you see that post that I yeah. that I made? He so he he got twenty five million basically, so everybody could get up there and talk shit about his ex wife. Yeah, pretty much. And and then they were like, "Why would you do that?" And he was like, "You ask any man that's divorced <laughs> that his wife cheated on him that why why he did it? Right. Just twenty five million dollars, and literally, we've heard all the jokes about Brady." Yeah. We've heard the all the Patriot Belichick bullshit. all that bullshit. We've all, we've heard all that. Yeah. People have already put it in stand ups, they've made sketches about it. Yeah, they're just saying it live. Just... Yeah, so but we haven't heard like the I didn't see did you see that Bill Belichick, that walk of shame where they cut him in like a ring cam with no shirt on or some shit? No. And then that when they roasted him, they were, uh Julian Edelman was like, Oh man, uh you used to tell us those the the kids at Foxborough High can do it better and he was like that's the only job offer you got. <laughs> and it was like, I mean, they, they didn't hold back. No, I know. Some of the shit I saw, I was like, damn, that was. But Tom Brady was a good sport about it. They said the only thing Tom Brady really got mad about was the uh, Robert Kraft uh, happy ending massage stuff. Oh, yeah. Like that was not allowed. That was not supposed to Who be talked about. Who said that? Something Dunn. I can't remember his last name. Jeff, J- Jeffrey. Jeffrey Dunn? That doesn't. That's no, that's sound- Jeff Ross. Huh? Jeff Ross is. That's who said it? No, that's who I think you're thinking of. The name you're thinking of. <clears throat> He's a little short, bald guy. He's a comedian. I don't know. Mm. Whatever his name is, my bad, guys. I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> but it was a white guy. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> it was a white guy. It was a white dude, clearly. <laughs> he was talking shit to Robert Kraft. He had to. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that was a. Uh, so I want to know how these live events are going to go. Are we going to watch commercials? During these live well, events, gonna have I'm to pretty be sure yeah. someone's gonna have to get paid off of this. Yeah. If, I mean, Netflix is getting paid by the subscribers. Well, I mean, what are we gonna do? Sit there and watch fucking Paul and Tyson just sit on the thing? And the, well, pop, pay-per-views always have those bullshit reels yeah. t- or the little probably be the same promotional clips because I want to see how that plays out. And then in 2025 in January, WWE Raw switches over to Netflix as a live event. Okay. SmackDown goes to USA and NXT goes to the CW33. So we're changing the landscape. More money's involved. The PG era is over. They're going to get to say bitch. They're going to get to say ass. They'll probably get away with fuck on Netflix. A couple of them. And yeah, 
So I'm uh, I'm excited for this because we're gonna get we're gonna get some, some real shit we're gonna get some promos that like haven't been allowed for like the past twenty years basically in wrestling. John Cena used to come out with some wildest shit when he came out freestyling <laughs> with that big ass chain on. Yeah. And uh dude he always called Michael Cole gay. And like <laughs> and it's like, bro, you can't say that shit anymore the way he would do it. But I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited to see I'm excited for the storytelling, and wrestling is on the comeback. I said it last night on the podcast. The Rock was like, "Wrestling's cool again." Fuck you, Rock. It's been cool. <laughs> Everyone's just noticing now, and now we get to say more <clears> stuff. <throat> Stone Cold Steve Austin will make an appearance at the next WrestleMania. I'm predicting it now. They said he was supposed to be at this one, but they couldn't get the contract done in time, so the Undertaker had to come out and well. choke slam The Rock. But WrestleMania would have been so much better if Stone Cold would have came out and kicked The Rock in the stomach and hit it with that stunner. <laughs> and said, go back to Hollywood. God. Oh, that's the pot calling the kettle black, though. Stone Cold did a lot of movies. Yeah, but they were he was never as big as The Rock. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. I mean, and I think now, he could have been if he would have yeah, pushed I, for I it. I just think, but. yeah, I think he could have pushed for it. But a, a lot of it is the, the roles that Stone Cold could have played. They're, they're more limited. The yeah. Rock is... That is true, I guess. The most electrifying yeah. man in sports entertainment. And he had that Matt Mantle, and then he it translated. He did that goofy-ass Tooth Fairy movie. Like, Walking Tall is still That's a, a movie, movie I can fucking watch through and through. <laughs> yeah, I like that movie a lot. And John Cena made his push, and he had, like, two of those well, he's action in movies. DC now, so he's doing fine. Yeah, he's got money. And then, and then, I posted it yesterday. They're in talks with The Rock to play Apocalypse in, for the X-Men. Nice. I would really like to see that. I think he could pull that off. Yeah. But we already we already had an apocalypse movie, right? Yeah. And I didn't like it. I didn't like the concept of the character. Yeah, it wasn't good. Yeah. <clears throat> Oscar Isaac played him. I didn't even ask. He's now two and <laughs> two and one. I'm gonna have to write these numbers he down. He also played somewhere. Moon Moon Knight in that Moon Knight T V show. He was the main character? Mm -hmm. Oh see he was good in that though. Yeah, he was he was I Apocalypse. I don't like the way that they Designed the character yeah. Apocalypse. I didn't like. I didn't like that. Did y'all like that? What was that? Days of Future Past. No, that what was that? It was X Men Apocalypse. Yeah, <laughs> it was X Men Apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, you just said it, bro. <laughs> My bad. I fucked it up. Now, but I was gonna tell y'all. Sure, I told y'all, but uh, I saw the Alien, the seventy nine movie in theater. Mm -hmm. Oh you know, yeah, he it was went, pretty yeah. good, dude. Yeah, I know you. T you told me you were very excited. Yeah, Theo Davis sent it to me in that morning. I told Ken, "Let's we go. Going. We going. Well, fuck yeah, no, they were no, playing no. at the Ridgemar. So I was like, yeah. I mean, bro. I think that uh, I think Vincent's one of the only people that I know that's still like, we got to see that shit in the movie. Dude, theater. I would have went. Shit. No, yeah. but I mean, like when new movies come out, Vincent yeah. is the only person that I know that's like, well, when just, he comes out, I gotta go. Oh uh, yeah, right away. I just went and saw that Abigail movie last night. Was it good? Yeah, it was all right. His Which brother? was that one? The one they locked the people in, or something? Yeah, with a little she ballerina a vampire, vampire. Yeah, the previous looked pretty good. It was pretty solid. Ballerina vampire. Yeah, it was all right. There was a lot of blood in it. <laughs> Who's in that movie? Actor wise, not talking about the little girl. Uh, the girl from Scream, Melissa Barrera, or something like that. She was in that In the Heights movie. Um, Dan Stevens played uh, Legion. He's from other shit. I just don't know what he's from. Legion. Uh, remember the X Men movie with the Blob, big old fat dude. Oh yeah. He was in it. Uh, that blonde girl from like that new Frankenstein <coughs> movie, she was in it. No, I just think you're. <laughs> I think you went opposite direction. Now I think you're like two and six because you're just naming like <laughs> that one naming dude people from that I can't movie, remember. <laughs> this girl from that movie. Uh, John Carlo Esposito was in it. All right, you're three and seven now. <laughs> 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 These numbers are just going to get started getting more ridiculous. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. All right, Vincent. It was good. Though. All right, all right, Chase. I know you don't have a you don't have a a dog in this fight, but um, all right. Let's talk about this rat beef a little bit, just because for the hell of yeah, it. Yeah, because I don't like Drake at all. Man. I Fuck know. <laughs> I, I, I know. That's why I was like, you really don't have a dog in this fight because you're just a hundred percent like. Well, Kendrick, I think Kendrick is a better rapper anyway. I know, but that's that was my part. That was my problem with this beef to begin with. Yeah. You're, it's like putting up. I just got that damn song out of my head. What song? <laughs> Kendrick song. But it's it, my problem with it was it's not it's not bar for bar. It's not rapper versus rapper. It's dude. I mean, in our lifetime, Drake, K 
can be considered a pop icon. Yes. Because his music's on every radio station. They can grab a song from every album. Yeah. And there's something poppy in there for somebody. There's something mel- melodramatic over here. There's some toxic shit in the middle. Well, Kendrick ain't dancing around. And Yeah. <laughs> and Kendrick doesn't drop as often. Yeah. And he's not chasing chasing this level of... Well, my opinion is Drake is a rapper. Kendrick's an MC. Like, he's a lyricist. Yeah, I'll give you Different, that. different type of yeah, rapper. Two different. Yeah. And so that's what I'm saying. It's like putting... Let's let's say it this way. Let's say putting a a trained UFC fighter versus a WWE star. Yeah. It's two completely different things. Still very physical. Be, yeah, still very physical. But he one guy's a stunt double basic or he's a stunt man. Yeah. He's pulling moves off that are planned, that yeah. are that are that's, it's been rehearsed. That, yeah, we've we we know what what's about to happen. We know what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull it off, and we're gonna make it look believable. Yeah. And the, on the other end, you have Kendrick trying to, like, destroy destroy someone. But the only the other thing I didn't like about this beef was it didn't it didn't seem like they were trying to go like I could write a better line about you. It both it seemed like they both just said I'm gonna see I'm gonna air out the most fucked up shit I think I can prove about you. Yeah. But there's no proof on any of this stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Drake like those young girls, though. They really look bad. Okay, then I, then my counter to that is, <laughs> well, did Kendrick beat his old lady? Right. That's my that's my, that's my my counter. That's, so it, that's better than liking young girls. <laughs> I'm not, I'm <laughs> not, not saying, saying it. I'm not saying you're wrong. But <laughs> yeah. I'm saying is, so if you or me was to beat our significant other, we would face repercussions. Yeah. And we would be looked down upon. Yeah. But because what Kendrick said Drake did was worse in some people's eyes. I'll say yeah. it that way. Yeah. Like I mean it's all bad shit. It's all it's all bad shit. Yeah, of course. So that that's where I'm kinda like but then the other thing is they're, <clears throat> sh- they're still gonna make music and we're just kinda stuck here in this in the middle game of who drops next. I think the beef is over. I don't think there's yeah, gonna be any so more tracks then. for each other. Kendrick will drop an album at the end of this month or next month. Yeah. And there may be one song on there that kind of addresses the beef or something. Yeah. But I think it's just going to fall to the wayside. They usually do. Except for Ja Rule. His, his career was just over. Yeah. Benzino came back. <laughs> but I mean, there's just... I don't know. You know, I never heard that full rap. Neither have I. Who? Benzino. Benzino? Mm-mm. He was just the editor of the source, I thought. Right. I, I thought so. <laughs> or the creed created or some shit. I don't know. Magazines. Y'all remember magazines? Yeah, man. Man, what happened to those? Internet. <laughs> <laughs> Internet. Remember newspapers? Yeah. They're still yeah. kind of there. And the yellow yeah. book? The yellow book? Yeah, that don't. That ain't a thing. No. There has to be a yellow book somewhere. I want to say they sent one beginning of the year or something. Was it like this big, though? <laughs> yeah, right. Mm, this was short, like. Let's see if it's smaller than I said. It was like the old TV I guy. About, I was talking about yeah, thickness. Like and a little bit longer, maybe. General, like, oh, it's yeah. like this big. <laughs> do you remember using the phone book? I do. Yeah. When I was younger, of course. Just, or just even looking through it. Just. <laughs> well, hey, being in the bathroom, you know, there's only fucking yellow pages to look at. Right, see what see what kind of coupons and shit. Nah, man. That's, that's when like you've already done a, when you re, uh, read the shampoo too many times. <laughs> Look at that, take, taking that Hank Hill shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I do remember reading shampoo bottles. Like, yeah. What is all this stuff? This <laughs> reading all the ingredients and shit. <laughs> Trying to pronounce the words. <laughs> Bro, yeah, dude, those '90s shits were different, bro. Definitely, you had to have a magazine. You had to have something. Th- thank you, Father, for uh, subscribing <laughs> to Maxim Magazine. <laughs> so I had something to read. I learned a lot of good things in GQ magazine as well back in the day. Yeah. Gentlemen's Quarterly that came out every month. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> but they should have called it Gentlemen's Monthly. That would have. Yeah, GM doesn't sound. They already took. That was already taken. Yeah, we don't make cars. <laughs> we make magazines. <laughs> But, uh, dude, I don't know how we got onto this. It's fine. This is the normal randomness of this podcast. There's always one random segment. Yeah. Gentlemen's Monthly. Uh, it doesn't that have a doesn't good sound ring to good it. either, dude. It's, no, okay. Yeah. Um, 
I know where you're going with that. We shouldn't, <laughs> we shouldn't go there. <laughs> That's why I said, um, but, uh, yeah, you know, sometimes. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. so what else, what else we have coming up? Are we, are we doing tattoo party? Chase, you going to go to tattoo party? We can do tattoos? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Face tattoos? But it's on what time? June, uh, June 8th. Face tattoos? Face tattoos? All right, cool. We'll get face Shit. tattoos, man. I, all right. Face tattoos. Right later. there in the middle. <laughs> I still ain't even seen your your alien. You get a where'd you get the alien egg at? The egg right here on the side. On your neck. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, it's it's behind his ear. Yeah. I thought you were gonna get it on the other side where there's nothing at, Mm-mm. and you got it on the same side. I kind of wanted to blend in. What are you gonna do on the other side? I don't know yet. At one point he was like, "Ah, oh, I ain't gonna do it the other side." Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "No, maybe." I think I that am. stuff worked. That uh, cream. Yeah, the numbing cream that I, I bought didn't from. Use my, it. You, I know you didn't use it, and then Vincent was like. That bitch took it when I left. <laughs> it was a fun day, dude. Yeah. yeah. It was a, uh, it got cut short a little bit, but it was a fun day. We won't get into that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll probably add to this one. Make yeah. it bigger. It's only uh, people, I think my cousin, she's invited, her, I think her friends and some family. It's not going to be like a big old party they be doing all the time over there. Oh, for real? Like random people everywhere and shit. So just people invited, you know. <clears throat> we'll get some caution cones and some tape. Keep the kids away. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, I'm down. I don't know what I'm going to get particularly, but I sent you like seven ideas yeah. that were in my phone. So yeah, I got an idea. Every time I see something cool on Instagram or on Google or randomly in a video, screenshot. <laughs> Most of my tattoos are. But you made a very good point this morning on your story, or did you send it directly to me? When pe- oh, I think it was on your story when people asked, "You're gonna regret those tattoos when you get older," and it said, uh, "Oh, you forget. I will forget they're I forget there. They're there. <laughs> yeah. Right? Gonna lie. This Dorito on my shoulder. I constantly. I'll wake up in the morning. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I like, forgot about this one before I even got it. <laughs> it's like, oh, you did, <laughs> bro. You had that stencil on for probably the better part of two hours. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, man. We're just those guys, man. We shut down tattoo shops yeah. and we just. We just make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. But we are those guys. The three amigos that do that. Damn right. <laughs> and then my mom this morning on our group take, she's like, she saw two motorcycles sitting over here on fueling when she's waiting at a light. She goes, that could be Vincent and Robert one day. It's like, <laughs> it will yes, be. mom. Yes, it will be. And then, so we've we've had the conversation about Sturgis a couple of times. Yeah. I've talked to more people. We have the trailer bikes. We're not. We're I told not, you. We're not making that run. <laughs> I told you. It's like 16 hours, man. 16 hours straight. We're going to die, man. <laughs> no, nah, dude. Uh, after about this uh, three or four hours, yeah. and I said, uh, yeah, you're, you're not going to want to ride after like three or four hours. Yeah, that's what my buddy said he did like six or eight hours, and he wanted he didn't want to fucking, he wanted to just ship his bike back and. Well, can take a bus. <laughs> so fuck. Could pick this bike at Triple A. Told my bike back to Fort Worth. All right. No, because uh, I was talking to Randy about it, and he was saying on that Sturgis trip, they take days to get there. Well, but you look at Sturgis is a very small town. Yeah. It's not like a big city, so right. they have the meat there. Food trucks come in. Yeah. There's stuff going on there, and he goes, they they pull up at Rapid City, which is outside of Sturgis. Which is like a normal town. Yeah. So they stay there, then they ride into Sturges, but then they plan out the trip. So he said there's like there's like three or four big like sites to be seen. Yeah. Like like not not monuments, but whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. Like sightseeing things. And they're like maybe like a two hour ride. So yeah. you ride there. And then and, stay. And then yeah. And then he's like, But you can go there and back in a day. So when you're there a week, you're at Sturgis like one day. Yeah. And then you're going to make a ride to here, make a ride to here, make a ride to here. I'm like, so this is going to take a whole week. Yeah. You know, we're going to have to train the bikes. And he goes, well, if you make those runs, the dude, talking to someone who's been riding like Randy has for fucking years. Yeah, almost he was his like, whole life. If you're riding and you're not trailering, you have to take the cold gear. You have to take the hot gear. You have to take this. You have to, like, you, he goes, basically, you're packing everything into your bike. Yeah. And he said that, uh. He was in. He was in like 1930 or 40. He said that there was a a temperature drop, where it went from 80 degrees down to like 50 degrees, and then back up to 80 in like a 30 minute time frame. Oh, between like going yeah. through. Yeah, and uh, he said that it's like a natural phenomenon that they've 
done before, but it just reminded me when Vincent was in Alvarado and he was like, it, it would seem like a chill day and he goes, man, I got on the bike. It was fucking cold as shit. <laughs> <laughs> but just, but the windscreen helped now. Yeah. Have you taken the bike out, bro? I was going to ride it. I was about to say, I was going to ride it yesterday to work, but my battery's dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. All right. For Vincent's birthday, I'm going to get him a trickle charger. I just rode it last Friday. It's crazy. And before that, I didn't ride it for like three weeks and it started. And one week and it. I don't I don't know enough about it, bro. I'm just okay. saying, I don't know. What are you trading that one in, right? No. No, we're going to get some bags for it. Okay. I don't know what we're going to do. No, I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm done. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. All right. I'm good. Yeah, you got anything, Vincent? Yeah, my dad wanted me to say something. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> he wanted to say, if you're driving on the fucking highway, if the if it says 70, go 70. <laughs> Simple enough. <laughs> Tips from my Theo Chente. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you ain't wrong, though. All right. I mean. But I, but I want to know, <laughs> my counter to that is, so are you dealing with people driving slower, or are you dealing with people driving faster? I'm going to say probably slower. It has so, to be slower. So he's saying at least go the speed limit. Yeah. But, but also don't speed at the same time. Well, what I'm saying is don't get on the highway going 40 miles an hour, because you're in my fucking way. <laughs> well, he, I'm pretty sure he drives on the fast lane always. Yeah. So he's go, always fucking... Go 70. Yeah. At least. Yeah. He's going faster than that, I'm pretty sure he's... On people's asses and shit, and they're going slow. <laughs> <laughs> so one time we were driving, we were driving to drop a car off, and Chase was following me, and I had to slow down because I made the light and he didn't. And then I was, and then I called him like, "Hey, bro, just just keep coming this way." He's like, "Oh yeah, that was a that was a red light. I treat that like a stop sign." <laughs> I was like, "I don't I don't think you're supposed to do that." But all right, he's like, "I'm right behind you." I was like, "Yeah, well, I mean, we, I was following you. I wasn't gonna fucking just sit there." <laughs> I, I just didn't some people made drive, sure some people drive different i just know? made sure nobody was coming and i just went <laughs> it's all good i just treated it like a stuff song all right yeah i really <laughs> am good now all right this is made, you've made it this far in the podcast we truly do appreciate it yeah um thank you for listening if you want to talk shit in the comments feel free i will like it and i will thank you for listening or watching um if you have any tips for this podcast uh and you know what you're talking about. Maybe I'll pay attention. Yeah. Get your fucking energy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dubby. Get the dubby. That's good shit. I'm actually going to, but I finished the other one. It, and I don't feel all that's, amped that's up. Good. It, it's not a, it's not a pre-workout. There's no itchy underneath the skin. I don't feel like I'm about to turn into abomination. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think that's a wrap. Um, y'all keep vaping because I, I'd never quit. And, uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs>